Hey YouTube, you have Leonard here, bringing guys and gals, Osama Ranking. Yes, Ranking of Kings, episode number 14. Wow. L last week's episode, I, I went back and I rewatched last week's episode literally right before I did the stream. Got it back fresh in my head. And it was really a good one. We saw so many stuff with like Sword King Zoken. Um, I like the theory that someone had about because his affinity being darkness that he was weak against healing and her light power who knows i like the idea that bochi is just not a good match or brevity yet zokin is not a good matchup for bochi for two reasons i think my theory was personally the fact that zokin has the armor and everything and if you can't pierce through the armor how are you going to be able to again like stop his prey like get to the pressure points i think that's a big issue for bochi but likewise also I like the fact that someone brought out again, and I apologize if I remember, but you know who you're on the comment section. The fact that since he can freeze people seemingly from what we have seen, again, natural enemy of Bochi who literally predicates himself on speed. I, I thought that was a very interesting thought that I did not consider during the episode, but that was very cool. So with that, Dorishi and Hilling, they're retreating. As I've said before, I I'll say it again. It just feels like their plan to fight, and I understand it, it didn't feel necessarily well planned out. And they really needed, if not in my opinion, for the underworld coming through, not to mention also Apia's like having a change of heart. And then afterwards, we, we see Miranjo kind of like, you know, like fine, spare them temporarily. If all this doesn't happen, like they're in trouble. But we do know two things. Bebin is the one who has currently, he's looking after, he's looking at, uh, Dida, first and foremost. He's watching over Dida, a.k.a. Balsay in the prison. Um, he's probably going to free... Ah, actually, I shouldn't say that. I don't know if he's going to free Balsay. Because as I said, I don't think Balsay is going to do anything in this fight. Um, at least until Bochi arrives. And then on top of that, we see that Domas and Hokuro are on their way to the underworld. Whatever's going to happen there, we will see. And we also need... Despa to arrive because Despa, based on least how it's been hyped up, is the one who will be able to deal uh, with Zoken. Sadly, his captain and all the others are about to fight Zoken because he's been terrorizing all the people. It's a bad situation. It's very bad. So, that everyone, I'm going to begin the episode. Smash that like button it is greatly appreciated once again. And let's get into another great episode. I'm sure this will be of Osama ranking. We're going to begin this episode in. Where am I? Timer right here in five, four, three, two, one. We're getting the recap. He lost his leg. This man is just going in. Has lost his eye too. What? She can't take this. Dida? He was like, I could have left any time. Yo, Genny, what is up? What is good? He's like, I literally could have left at any time. By the way, I misspoke. I said that they disappeared. Like, they tried to retreat. They're t attempting to retreat to no avail. <laughs> I should have said that. They are still in the thick of it. But again, it goes to show you that Bolsa does indeed care about healing. But you saw that little flash he had to meet Anjo. And he can't bring himself to go against Minandra either. It, it's just, it's so conflicting because you know he cares. You know this man cares. You're know, looking at chat quickly, but looking up. Again, you've been waking up 4 a.m. to watch soccer? That's, that's rough. That is rough. By the random side note, I've now learned how to make my own matcha. Random side point, everybody. Uh, 
Oh, this opening. So hype, so hype. You know what I need to do? I think I'm going to do it at the end of the stream. I want to go back and just like... There's so many good things in this opening. Oh, this is so cute. That's my favorite scene. Every time I listen to this opening, it's amazing. And it just looks so vicious. This, I like this opening much better than the first opening. As much as the first opening was iconic for many reasons, this opening hits. Yes, everyone. We'll be this. This will be a very heavy stream day. In addition to the three anime I'm reacting to right now, we'll be doing the Crunchyroll Awards, going through some of that. We'll do the Komisan reading as well. Oh, doshe! Yo, Hilling's about to have a panic attack. He's not okay. Doshe, you're not okay. He's going to die. No. No. Bevin. <laughs> yes. Yes, my guy. Bevin is here. He may summer. I'm the snake that you saved and Prince Bochi once saved. Mm-hmm. Has he been hiding all this time? Early stream today? Yeah. Today's a streaming day. Today's a heavy streaming day. But I'll be doing this and I'll be streaming later this evening as well. How damaged is he? Hilling. She's, I'm gonna tell you guys, Hilling is the best character in this series. She's easily the best character. I, I love her so much. What the? This is, her ability, if you guys have ever watched Bleach, I know I've been making a lot of Bleach references lately. It's not even so much that it's just healing. It's almost like Orihime from Bleach. Where she has the ability, basically, to, like, almost like she's turning back time. She's restoring, regenerating, but it's like she's, re she's taking things back to where they were, almost. Oh, no, I lied. Oh, never mind. I, I just made that comparison. I was completely wrong. I saw the ground coming back to what it used to be, but Doshi still lost his ear. I mean, his eye. Yo... Snake is where it's at. No, Snake Sama! Hebi sama, no. Nah, don't mess with the snake. Mm mm, mm mm. Bebin. Bebin. Kage, Kage, and Bochi. No. Dorje, he's like, ouch. So he lost his eye. So my theory is probably wrong that she can rewind something else's time, so to speak. Unless she just didn't have enough time. And the reason I still say this is because if it was just purely healing... My thought process is that the ground wouldn't have been restored as well. She has no more power. No, he can't die like this. Genny, I will not be watching the main Celtics. What? He has a potion? Oh, for, oh yeah, I forgot he had those. 
This is like some raid. We got all the potions and everything. This is nice. Healing out here being just clutch. By the way, the fact that she is now once again reunited with Bochi, I can officially say that I believe that Healing will potentially survive the entirety of the series. Okay, I probably shouldn't say that, but I, I now have confidence that Healing can potentially survive. It felt very bleak before, but now I feel good. Bochi. 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 About time. Won't you come in clutch this episode? A diamond? Okay, some flashbacks. Hmm? How? Oh, does it go back to what he taught him about the pressure? This is so cool. I, I love this stuff. The stronger the joints are. But Despa, how do you know where those things are? Human body is one thing, but the stone is different. Wait, Brandon Knight is back? They brought Brandon Knight back? R.P. Chalmers. Oh, this is cool. Yo, Bolchi. <laughs> the giant's like, what? None at all? Love Bochi. Done. Game over. Doris is like, what? Helen's like, huh? Nani? Yeah, that's where my boy's powerful now. But the kingdom is literally falling apart. Oh, this is the pass. Oh, Bochi's love. Daida. Daida. Who's slowing down who? Who's actually slowing down who? Look at Bolsa. Get out of here, Dida. Di Past Dida was trash. Bolsa. Oi. I just see Goran Dragic making a comeback with the Heat. I thought he fit very nicely on that team. I didn't know he wasn't playing really for the Raptors. <laughs> and Hilling's just, I can't believe <laughs> what you've become. Love it. 
if we go back to episodes one and two where Bochi was as a character and what he's become is really just nice. It's really nice. Aw. This is the reunion I wanted. Aw. Never doubt healing ever again, Bochi. Mm hmm. Even with his own mother, and then to healing, always treated with kindness. Tomodachi. I mean, you, you allowed the stupid mirror, which had. <laughs> How are you going to say you sense his evil order and I don't know about you? What the? This man doesn't even have a leg. What? Kage, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Put some respect on his name. Not that Hilling would know, to be fair. Yeah, be embarrassed. <laughs> I can't with her. I like... Oh, by the way, Gendy, I like Kayla Martin so much. I had him in fantasy for a while, too. Had him fantasy for a good while. You can still find room for um Drogic though, I think. Aw. Good job, healing. Good job. Is this love? Is this love, Kage? <laughs> oh, he took all those out as well? No, he didn't take them out. Wait, what? No, healing. Wait, what? And now they're going to be like, oh, good man. Good man, good woman. He, they healed them. This is nice. No, they're fine now. They were being controlled by Miranjo. That is true. What is wrong with him? He's like, no, I don't want it. I don't want the smoke. Is he apologizing? He literally was just like, I don't want that. I don't want that smoke whatsoever. That's facts. Listen to Hilly, nothing but facts. Again, who's Vincent Depot Morris? I remember that is. Gigon.
You know nothing about Gigan. <laughs> that is, I mean, again, healing's not wrong. You can still be friends, though. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even. So far, this has been a very enjoyable episode. However, there are still things that need to be taken care of. Uh oh. The underworld? Okay, what's happening here? Oh, so Despa's there. Oof. Oh, he took the arm. Nope, nobody's still standing. What the? What was that rewind? Lightning? From who? Despa? Desha? Wait, Desha did that? Huh? Okay, so Despa's still trash. <laughs> no offense to Despa. Immortality. What? So he used to be a part of the Order of the Knights. Never grows older and never dies. Mm hmm. I feel like Oaken was defeated too easily, though. Huh? Wait. Huh? That's the reason why they want to take down Miranjo? Does Desha know Miranjo? Is she from the underworld? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, let me think about this. They talked about Oaken, and they talked about Oaken specifically regarding his immortality. They said here that immortality... Having immortality, you lose the essence of being a human. You no longer are who you are. That's why Desha is after Miranjo. So that's confirmation. We already knew this, but Miranjo, for whatever has happened to her in the past, she's very scarred. But the Miranjo that we see today is not the same as the younger version of Miranjo that currently, again, Daida is with 
inside of Bolsey's consciousness. Best way I can describe it. Inside of it's so confusing. Inside of <laughs> inside of Bolsey's body, which is actually Dida's body, we have the younger Miranjo and we have Dida. Miranjo, one can make the argument, has lost her humanity, and Miranjo is not the same person, of course, as she used to be. So is it possible that she's originally from the underworld? King Desha, the king of the underworld, knows of her. And he's been looking to try and put Miranjo down for reasons. Um, and the same way that they're not trying to give up on Oaken, is it possible that maybe Miranjo can gain her humanity back? All, all these are very good questions. Um, this show has a way of just flipping things on its head for me. It really does. Um, everyone, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'm definitely kind of curious. The end of this episode allows for a lot of food for thought things i wasn't thinking about before i never thought there was a connection between miranjo and desha in the underworld I, I i never really put two and two together but if he's doing all of this potentially to take down miranjo so is it ever really about taking over the kingdom or are they doing this as an ends to the means of taking down miranjo who are the bad guys here? That's another thing. things. I don't trust King Desha. Despa I trust, but Desha I do not trust necessarily um, in terms of what's happening. I, I just have thoughts. I have thoughts. And I wonder what probably happened between them and Midanjo. What took place? How did Oaken even gain immortality? That's, that's, that's actually probably the better question. How did Oaken gain his immortality? Is it connected to what happened also to Miranjo? How did Miranjo become who she is today, where she's living inside the mirror, and basically for eternity? And what's her end game? What is the end game for Miranjo right now? That these these are all things to think about, and we're going to obviously get some answers. As I'm sure as the season goes on. For the time being, though, what's next? Is Desha the fuck? Is Desha going to become a villain? I mean, he already was potentially villain, but like, is he going to become like the antagonist? What's Miranjo doing? The guy who has Miranjo? I got questions, man. I got so many questions. Oh, uh, yeah. Everyone, let me know your thoughts once again. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you like my content. is greatly appreciated. My brain is going in a million different areas with regards to this episode. And... I <laughs> They have me. I'm honestly lost. Not, not lost in terms of like confused per se, but like, no, sometimes you kind of map out what's going to happen. I truly don't know where they're going to go with things. Um, we also have the plot line, of course, of um, King Bo and also his father. What's happening there? We know King Bo is going to come back. We know the father is somewhere out there in the wilderness. That's another plot point. Desha found the gateway to the underworld. Uh, Domas is heading down there and Bolsa knows also that that's the other thing maybe the reason why he specifically is having Hokuto and Domas go down to the underworld is because he knows what is taking place and he's put countermeasures to stop this and if Desh is leaving the underworld is basically unprotected I, I don't know anyway everyone I'm going to end the video here let me know your thoughts once again I'm Leonard and I'm out take care everybody see you next week peace